In this video, I'm going to talk about a an app within Inertia Components called as Video Hub app. Now, what this app is, it's a Canvas app. It is targeted towards end users. Uh, it can be configured to show targeted video tutorial contents for your organization. It's kind of a mini YouTube for your uh, staff, whereby only the relevant videos, which may help in developing uh, some competency, uh, or uh, help the user building an app uh, will be visible over there. You can view the video as per category. You can view the video playlist defined by the admin. You can like the videos. You can see the view count for the videos. Uh, you can view videos within a player and you can use Query Builder to filter out the videos for searching. Now the Query Builder part will be useful when you have say maybe 50 plus or uh, 100 views, uh, videos content listed within your organization and it is very difficult to find the relevant videos okay so you can do some sort of a query search on it now let's jump into the demo how do you navigate to that app so you go into the center of excellence nurture components you'll find under apps video hub click on the meatball icon click on play and then you will be landed in video hub page now here, I have already added a couple of videos and that's why you're able to see it. Initially, you will find nothing over here, okay? How do you add those information? Again, I have covered that in my previous video. You need to go into an app called as Nurture Apps Admin. And in Nurture Apps Admin, under Video App, you can start adding contents for the video, okay? Content is basically some information and a hyperlink to that video. The video can be an internal or an external video. I have added four YouTube video links and that's why you see over here. Additionally, you can configure comments, you can add the playlist and you can add items to the playlist. Okay, let's come back to Video Hub app. Here, you will see all the categorization. So if a video belongs to say Power Apps, you will only see the video belonging to Power Apps. If you click here, video belonging to Power BI, you'll be visible over there. Now, you can define your category and set that video under that particular category. So that's all about uh, in the home screen. Now here, you will see the person who created this video or created the uh, link for this video, uh, then under what section it belongs to say how to, then there is a views and likes, okay? You, if you click here, you can go into the view. Okay, so now I'm in this particular video and I can directly play this video I can see uh, how many likes this has received or when it was uh, created. And is there any similar videos related to this? Okay, so I can see this related videos. I can also click here in this icon to change the video. Okay, so if I click here, I will be able to see the Power BI video. Okay, also I can see the comment for this video. So these are the comments which has been written by end user okay for your organization so let's assume if you see this video and then you say that okay uh, this video is so nice okay so this is a comment which i uh, have put and now this video this comment will be visible once an admin moderate those comments okay and it proves it so you can navigate back to the home screen and then you will be landed in the home screen find this is a query builder which will allow you to uh, say view the video items uh, based on some query. Now for a very small um, uh, list, this doesn't make sense, but think about it. If you have 50 or hundred videos and you want to filter out the videos based on your need. Uh, so if I select content category and I say, I just want to see the success story video, what I need to do is like I click on. So this is a query I have built content category equals success story and then I click on add this query is now added now I click on apply now the query runs and it will only surface out content category belonging to success story if I change the query and make it how to I add this and I remove this previous query click on apply then other videos will appear based on the query so this is how you filter out the uh, the content okay and again you can navigate to that particular video here 
and again you will land in the similar screen okay let me go back to find so there's nothing much over here it will just show you the description and the views and the likes for that video let's go to playlist now here i can see one two three four five playlist now why this five playlist appears is because in the nurture apps admin i have created five playlist now this playlist has some playlist item so if i go to power bi you will see that uh, power bi is like one of the playlist and it's a shared playlist if we go to playlist items here you will see that you know this video for power bi is attached to this playlist okay so if i go to playlist items this one so this is the playlist and if i go to the playlist items and this is that community hub content it will tell you this particular video belongs to that particular playlist okay now let's go to power bi playlist you will see the playlist mode you will see the playlist description if you click on it you will be able to see all the videos within that playlist now as this has only one video it will show only one let's see if i have any other playlist which has multiple videos so i think i have just created only uh, say one uh, video per playlist okay so there's nothing uh, so in power virtual agent i have also created one more uh, video so that's why you will be able to navigate to this particular playlist now in the screen you will see the video you can play the video you can view the title and description you can see when this was created created by whom and you can play the video and some statistics around it okay so that's it folks this is all about video hub it allows you to view the video pointed by an administrator uh, if you have any suggestions for any video to be placed in your video hub you can contact your admin admin can go into the nurture apps admin app and add those video uh, put around a categorization around it and then this will be visible to an end user thank you